everybody, welcome back to uh, another episode of GG. Uh, today I have a very special guest uh, from the Pretty Guardian channel. Her name is Maggie. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me on today. Well, thank you for taking time out of your day to, uh, um, I guess, conduct a little interview and see, you know, the differences that uh, me and you and other gamers have in general. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about your top three gaming genres and, and why. So what is your first, like, favorite, like, your number one genre that you like to play more than anything else? I would probably say RPGs. Um, okay. Games like Skyrim, Final Fantasy. I think Final Fantasy was the first one that really, like, hooked me into gaming in general. Which Final Fantasy was that? It was actually the first one. Um, the very the very first one? I can't remember if it was... I think it was on the, the Nintendo. Um, and it, it was yeah. the one where, like, yeah. you would go through and you would pick out who you wanted in your party. And I don't even know what the storyline was, but I just <laughs> thought it was the coolest game ever. Yeah, I can't remember either. I'm, I'm, I'm not, like, the biggest Final Fantasy fan, but I do love RPGs as well. Especially the new Final Fantasy that just came out. I put a lot of time into that. A lot more than I probably should. But RPGs are absolutely amazing i haven't put any time really in skyrim though i will say that i know it's everybody it's renowned everybody loves that game it and is yeah i don't know why i just uh i never got into it it's on like every it's like on how many consoles or how many years it's pretty ridiculous so yeah they're definitely milking that one dry that's for sure okay. so they might do the ps5 too yes did you try it and just not like it, or no. where did it lose? Uh, no, so I have seen my buddy Jordan. He's played thousands of hours on it. He bought it on almost every console that it came out on because it's just, he loves Skyrim. And I, I mean, because I felt I've, I've watched so much of it, and I've seen all the funny mods and all that. Like, I really love the Thomas the Train mod and um, <laughs> the, the Macho Man mod. Those two are, those two are absolutely hilarious to me. But um, I felt that because I saw so much of it, you know, I didn't really have to play it, I guess. Because I was just, you know, if I watch it and I'm still experiencing it with someone, I don't have to put so much time into it compared to, you know, actually just getting it by myself, sitting down, and then just getting completely immersed, which I know that's what that does. Because you're like, oh, I just got this. Well, I have to just open up this quest. And I got over there, and I'm like, ah. So that was, that was probably the main reason why I'll say that. <laughs> I think the the thing that drew me in the most with Skyrim was the aesthetic of it. Like, like I loved the the stark mountains and all the ice and the snow everywhere. I thought it was a really beautiful game. It was. I mean, it's not the last one. I believe was it five or six or whatever it was. I can't remember. Um, it wasn't the biggest one, but I think it right. was some of the more detailed ones, and pe that's what I think people really liked about it. And it drew in a bit. I think that's one of the bigger audience that's ever drew drawn in from the Elder Scrolls is. Is it just for some reason everybody loved it? It's like the, some games, like the first one or two, don't really click, and then like you know three or four later, everybody's like, "Oh, I gotta have that," and that's what I believe that's what that one did. So, okay, I think okay. The Witcher kind of had a, a similar experience. Where oh, absolutely. One and two. I, I mean, they were both excellent games, but it was really the third one that blew up. Yeah, nobody played The Witchers, and then all of a sudden the third one came out. <laughs> And then, and then a Netflix series comes out, and they're like, "Oh man, we oh, just gotta God. keep doing this." Like, like I think that's that's a that, man, you, I think you hit the, the hammer on the nail. That's like completely understand. Like, it's so ridiculous how nobody knew what The Witcher was, and I mean, a lot of game there weren't as many gamers back then as well. That's true. But still, like, it just I don't think there's a better example of a game that had prequels and just instantly just turned into this overnight success with the third one so yes i will i will give you that that was, that was a very good point a very good point <laughs> <laughs> um so my very first so my first genre um because you like rpgs i love rpgs as well but i'd say my my favorite one i'd have to go first is just um action any action game just because i really like that john rambo you know kind of like i am a tank and i can just kill everything you know like the god of war series uh, stuff oh, like that. God of War is a good game. I think the fourth one, then the one they made, is the best one it's ever been. I've never like that character development was really good. So it really got me in the mo in the feels. It was it was really good. But I just like to have a game where I just feel I can just 
take everything apart and not have too much story. I'm just like, ah, whatever. I'm just going to kill everything and just go get that kind of like mindless game. Kind of like a Call of Duty, but just get yeah. away from things. Well, in a way, it's kind of empowering, like fighting these fantastic enemies and just doing whatever you want in the world, really. Yeah, it's, it is. It's, I really like that. That's why I said I really like that, I guess, but that's nothing crazy. So, so what's <laughs> your. It's, it's nothing really crazy to it. So, um, it's true. It's true. but what's your, what's your second genre? So I was kind of conflicted because it's going to sound kind of like the first one, but I feel like they're really separate still. Um, MMORPGs. So the first one I ever played was, I think, Ultima Online back in wow, like the throwback. 90s. Yeah, Whoa, right? <laughs> You're taking me way back now. Okay. Um, but even, I don't know, today Elder Scrolls Online is the one I play the most of. And that one's really fun. I, I like that you have the multiplayer experience in there. You can do like PvP and group content and stuff like that. Um, and then it still has that kind of narrative rich experience that you would get from a single player game yeah they got they have sometimes i feel a good balance um ultima though is, is like the og i feel but um yes, it is. I, that's what i'm saying that you, you're taking me back now but um the 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 wow series really like when they started really getting into it i tried getting into mmos and i just i don't know what it was after like, world of warcraft came out and then all these like copycats came out. I, I just felt like it was a. Uh, there was just yeah. so much in that genre. I was like, man, I don't know what's going on. And there was a lot of really bad games, and it was just like so much garbage. I, yeah, I agree. I did play the Star Wars one though. <clears throat> I believe I was a. Uh, what was I? God, I know it wasn't a Jedi. Because hold I, up, hold up. Star Wars Galaxies. Or yeah, I think that Star was Star Wars: The Old Republic. Not the Old Republic. It would be Galaxies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, that was a classic. It, yeah, I, I, I mean, there are there are better Star Wars games than that, but that was the one I felt I put actual time into, and I was a bounty hunter. That's what it was. I was a bounty hunter. It was so long ago, I can't remember. Awesome. Yeah, but I mean, like, MMOs are fun. I really like the, the the best part I think of an MMO is the fact that you and and however many friends can get together and just go on an adventure and just start doing all sorts of quests and all sorts of crazy stuff, and that's nice because there's not a lot of games where like. The lobby is like, you know, three, four people, and then that's it. But in MMO, you can just, everybody gets online, and they're like, all right, we're going to go do this, we're going to kill this guy, we're going to get this, and I really enjoy that. So that's it's really nice, but it's like, for me, it's just, I don't know, I can't click as much. I guess I don't have that many friends. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, so. I've had a lot of fun, lot of like, fun. making like, friends in those games, too. Like, too. like, if you're up against some really hard content, 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 just grabbing, just grabbing somebody, somebody from the zone chat or something, or... Something, or... I don't know. I, I think know. it's part, I of, think the it's part of the fun. No, it is. The community, and I feel like MMOs are some of the nicer communities that will really bring you in, and they, they really like you. So I will give you that, because I don't think I've ever had anybody that was any kind of a troll or anything really ridiculous um, when I played any MMO. I, I will say that. Everybody's very nice. I so. think the game with the most trolls that I've ever played is League of Legends. <laughs> really? <laughs> I find that hard to believe. So, I just recently started League of Legends, uh, like okay. three weeks ago, and I have some friends that are they, that's all they play. But I have not even ran into one person who trolls anybody except. Well, maybe that's because they're the ones trolling. She, I have a friend Dawn, and she likes to anytime anybody doesn't kill her or she kills them, she'll throw out a bunch of like laughing faces and stuff like that and then run in circles. Yeah. Okay, so that's probably why I don't see them. I was because... gonna say, if I had a dollar for every time I heard mid or feed, I would be a millionaire. <laughs> that's, <laughs> God, oh man, <laughs> that game is, uh, oh, I didn't I didn't pay attention to the trolls because like I said, I'm new, so I'm just trying to like not die and, and hold my lane, so in, that's just in, me. In League of Legends, League that's, of Legends everything. that's everything. Not dying not is dying like, is 90% of, the, 90 battle right of the battle right there. Well, I obviously am losing that 90%. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at that game. So, you know, I'm not I'm not good at a lot of games, but I don't care. So, um so my second I would like to say is actually fighting games. And I know that's a very small oh. niche like not a lot of people get into it, but I have always loved like, ever since like Street Fighter 2 came out. Mhm. Mm and I suck that at that game. That was it for me, too. Yeah, it's a classic. And 
I mean, I love that. My friend had a super, I'd go over his house and we'd, like, we'd play and he would just destroy me with Chun Li every time. I was like, man, maybe if I try Guile, maybe if I try Block, uh, nothing work. So eventually I found Tekken and then that's where I excelled. Is, um, I'm way better at like 3D fighting games like Soul Calibur and Tekken. Um, I can't play a lot of other fighting games. So, but I mean, like Smash Brothers, I love Smash Brothers. I get destroyed by everyone. Little little kids, old people, everybody. I can't play Smash Brothers. I love it though. There's like a hundred characters and I just lose. So Smash Brothers I think is really cool because the the stages that you fight on, there's usually mechanics involving those as far as like where to jump and what to do and that sort of thing. Yeah. They are they are a little different, but like I said, it doesn't really matter for me because I just die. But I like the you know, all, all the <laughs> items and and they put like the eight player smash like and then they have like a thousand different characters now with all the DLC and and I picked up Cloud when he first came out years ago. But really have like you Cloud. played the new Mortal Kombat game? Number eleven, right? Yeah, yeah. No, and I hate to say that because I used to play Mortal Kombat back in the arcade when I was a kid. Okay. Well, then, I played through it, and I would highly recommend it. It is beautiful and cinematic, and the action is so good. Okay, I know it is, and this is the... Re- okay, so I'll give you the reason why. So 9 came out. I was all about that game. Uh, I like I, I, I played a ton of it. 10 came out. I was like, I got to get a collector's edition. I got one of the collector's editions. <laughs> and then I was like, this game sucks. The story was great. I loved that it continued it, but it felt like injustice. It didn't feel like Mortal Kombat yeah, to me anymore. Yeah, no, you're right about I that. I was like, right really? That. Okay. And then 11 came out. I was like, man, maybe I should get it. And I have literally just been sitting on, yeah, I should probably go get that game. And I'm like, well, Final Fantasy came out. Well, Resident Evil's coming out. And all this other stuff's coming out. I'm like, Ugh. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. And then the worst part is, is they have the best DLC characters, hands down. And my favorite comic book character was put in there. They just put in Spawn. And I'm like... I have to get this game now. And then what's even worse, they just added a new pack of DLC on top of that. And oh, it's, did they? Oh, did they? Yes, and I just saw the trip. I was like, man, this is ridiculous. Because now they're adding another kid, I mean, another character from my childhood. They're putting RoboCop in this thing. What? Oh, what? That's, crazy. Uh, that's crazy. So if you haven't seen it, as soon as you get off this, go see it. I, I was like, really? Man, RoboCop? I'm like, all right, I'm done. Okay. I, I, I have to okay. look at it now. So, so I have my homework over. for the afternoon. Um, yeah, I need to go, look go up. watch the trailer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You'll probably get it if, I mean, so you already have it. So it would be like 10 bucks for our, probably the expansion whenever it comes out. Cool. So anyway, getting on a little tangent there. I love it. I love really, I really love when you just talk to somebody and you can just go and you guys just talk about games. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> uh, so what's your third, your third genre you really like to put a lot of time into? Okay. This is going to make me sound like such a filthy casual, but I'm going to put myself on blast anyway. Um, my my third, I would say, is like simulation type of games, like Sims, Animal Crossing, um, Dude, Farm Together. Awesome games. Okay, good, good. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> bad about that. You know what? I grew up in that era where like, I was made fun of hardcore in middle school and high school for liking games. And now suddenly everybody loves games and it's a totally different world. We've talked, I mean, a few people on my channel have talked about how it used to be like that. And then I, you know, I, 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 I got the same flack, so don't worry. But uh, I, I, cause I am upset now that, Oh, it's cool to be a gamer. I was like, man, I had to go through the trenches. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I don't even want to hear it, but the Sims games are awesome. I remember I played the first Sims when it first came out. My buddy had a PC. I didn't. And we'd hang out. I'd go to his house and we'd just take like a turn like every 30 minutes or an hour and just build in a house and all sorts of stuff. We searched hours just to find like there was a cheat code. Yeah. And then we're like, dude, we have infinite money. Dude, we're going to get the biggest <laughs> house. And then we're going to like, we got rid of the first floor. So we just had a floating house. And then we couldn't even get, they couldn't like repo anything of us. Oh, it was, it was great. I, man, the, I love The Sims. I had a house that was like Superman, Goku, uh, Joker, and uh, Batman. Like I, I went all out. That's I awesome. That's awesome. All out in that stuff, and I absolutely love that. Uh, What's the other one? Black and White is another really good one as well. Did you never play Black and White? 
Sims Black and White? Or what no, was no, no. That? It was just called Black and White. And it was like you're, you make these deities oh, and then you just have yeah. people that follow the deities and stuff like that. It was, it was a very right. di- different well, tool. And it kind of shows you like the moral dilemma of kind of how being evil almost makes it easier to manage your society, whereas right. being good is more challenging <laughs> in a way. Yeah. It's, it's like the government today. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I mean, you're not wrong. But those games, man, don't ever say that you're a casual when you play those. Those games, those they change. They literally changed once you know all the the simulation games came out. Like it, it was like a genre divine, a defining moment when The Sims came out. And then prior to that, you know, it was you know, I mean, well, prior after the Zoo Tycoon, Roller Coaster Tycoon, like you had all sorts wow. of stuff. <clears throat> so that is that is awesome. I really, I really, I would have never thought. That's not my top three, man. I should have thought of that one. I, I, I forgot. Well, I forgot how much time I've actually put into those games. Wow. Okay. It's easy to lose track of time in them, too. I agree. I agree. And that's what used to suck me in. I'd play roller coaster, and my dad was like, you going outside today? And I'd look out, and it was like 6 o'clock. I was like, there's no point now. Uh, so, yeah, right. I was like, so. <laughs> but, man, yeah, don't ever feel like a like a, a casual. I only call field people casuals when we're playing stuff like... Um, Bloodborne or Dark Souls and you die. Oh, okay. That's okay. a casual. Yeah, but other than that, I don't even care. Um, I'm pretty so sure that me, dying is part of the gameplay loop in Dark Souls. Yeah. So, but that's why it's fun. You say you get good or you're a casual. So. There you go. And I, I, I was not very good at that. My buddy had to carry me a lot of the ways. Um, oh. Yeah. It's whatever. Like I said, I'm not good at a lot of games. Only certain games. Um... <clears throat> Now, for my last one, uh, my third one is actually racing games. I really love simulation oh. racing. So Gran Turismo has always been a real big thing of mine. I mean, I don't have a wheel or anything like that, but growing up playing Gran Turismo was awesome. I, I absolutely loved it. And then, you know, I'd have Sega Rally, and I remember going to the arcade, and I would just get on, like, Daytona just so I could you know, get the full experience of this thing rumbling behind me and I'm just driving and I just, I just lost myself and I love it. Uh, especially the rally games. Like when they started getting dirt, dirt two, I really enjoy those. I just go off because I had a rally car. It was a cheap rally car, but it was just, it was a little Subaru and I, I would take it out. So I guess that's why I kind of liked it. A little, little ridiculousness, nothing crazy. I think that's part of the fun of the game. Right. Yeah. Um, well, so I was playing the, I think it's the newest Forza game. And okay. so, I I don't know, I'm not huge into the racing genre, but I was amazed, like, how detailed the cars are, how beautiful the courses are, the music, like, it's a sick game. Oh, yeah, I think it was, it's Horizons. I think so. It's like Forza 8. Yeah. Something like that. But no, Forza is a fun one because it's like, a, it's a very arcadey kind of feel, though. It's not like, like, it's a Gran Turismo. It's... But it's really fun. They put a lot of detail into it, and they put a lot of um, over uh, over compared to Gran Turismo. They put a lot of um, crash physics in there in terms of like how your car gets smashed up. So it's really cool. I really like yeah. that, and I like the fact that in Forza you can actually hit each other and and, and really just go and then go off the course and just do ridiculous stuff, and then you know go back to the sim and, and just try to do a really good race. And you know I I I, I really like to just lose myself. I don't know why, but driving has always been really a fun genre for me to just try and get better it's kind of like a fighting game to me it's, it's just me yeah. versus whoever's out there driving it's not like me and the team it's like if i do bad it's my fault but if i do well it's my fault so <laughs> yeah so you yeah. can celebrate those little victories, those little victories too. too that's what i do little one victory at a, one what was it one lap at a time so yeah yeah <laughs> well Anyway, uh, Maggie, I want to thank you for taking the time out of your, your busy schedule uh, to have this conversation with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm really impressed by kind of the, the breadth of games that you enjoy. So it's been fun talking to you. All gamers are different, and that's the beauty of gamers. Uh, but we all have one similar passion, and that is gaming. So yes. um, and maybe I'll have you on again in the future. All right. Thank you so much. If you have. <laughs> of course. All right, uh, that's it for uh, to, today's episode, guys. We'll check you out on the uh, next episode, of Gigi. Bye. Bye.